Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how you can lay out a business card in Photoshop Elements so you can get this printed online. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you also hit share and subscribe as well. When you subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And take a look at the link down below for my full Photoshop Elements training course. It's the best way to learn how to use Photoshop Elements. All right, let's get to it. Here we are inside of Photoshop Elements and here's just a basic business card layout. Now this video isn't about designing a business card. That's kind of a personal choice on how you want to do that. It's about how to lay the business card out to make it easy to get it printed online. If you want to have some ideas on how to design a business card, let me bring up a Google search I did. Here we go. Just go on to Google and do an image search. You know, Google Images. I just put in business card design ideas and there are hundreds and hundreds of different ideas you can borrow in here to make your own design for your business card. It really depends upon what you want your card used for, what kind of business you're in, other cards that are similar in the same business, the information you want to put across and so forth. So the design really depends on a lot of personal specifics that I can't answer for. But I can give you some basics on how to do the layout so you can get this thing printed. Now, I'm going to be designing the card layout to match a site that I use whenever I'm doing business cards, and that's over here. It's called Vistaprint, and it's at vistaprint.com. I don't have any connection with Vistaprint. They don't even know I'm doing this video. I'm not getting any money for this. This is just a site that I happen to use to get my own cards printed. And the link you want is one that says business cards right there. Now, in here, I'll be showing you how to set this up for a basic card there it is, business cards. So it's business card tab and business cards. We'll go right to that location. There are several options in here right now. They're having a free ship promo, which is kind of nice. Let's put everything at its standard settings, paper thickness, standard, paper stock, matte, corners, standard. And then their default standard here is 500. You can get as few as 100, but 500 is a good round number. They do have some specifications you can go ahead and download right here. It's not a bad idea to look at that to take a look and see what their specifications are. If you're using a different service they should have something similar to this. But I'll be talking about that as we go through the video. So we'll go right to start designing and this takes you into the design part of their program and what we're looking for is the button to upload your own and that's right here. Upload your own design. We'll be doing that design and then you can then upload that using this particular button. Now they have a lot of pre-designed cards over here. Simply choose the card look you want, put in your basic information and you know it's all done for you. But we're going a bit more custom instead. And this is where you'll need to have your own artwork ready to go. Okay, let's switch back to Photoshop Elements. Here we are. So start off with File and New and Blank File. Now in this pop-up right here, we'll be setting the actual size. Now the specific size will depend again upon the service that you're using and Vistaprint does their measurements in millimeters. So our first thing is to change the measurements here to millimeters. Make sure those both say millimeters. Keep the pixel size here at 300 pixels per inch. That's just fine. It's this part here that you care about. Okay, the settings up here for the width is 92 and the height is 54. Now this gives a little bit larger size than what you'd actually want. The actual finished size for a business card is three and a half inches by two inches. This is a little larger than that. And that's an area in case you have your colors going clear to the edge. The card's a little larger and then it's cut down to fit. We'll talk about that again in just a bit. So here's our basic size and choose OK. So there's the beginning page in here for that. Let's go back and take a look at this for a second. This is a kind of a light gray border around there. That's just a visual thing I put on. If I take that off, there's the actual size of the piece of paper it'll be printed on, and then it's cut down to this size. The reason for that is to get a nice clean edge in here, not have any white showing around your image, and it's cut right to that actual color. You need to print a little bit past the cut edge, and that's what that extra size is for. And then I extended this bit of my image here out clear to the edge, and then it's going to be cut right inside here someplace and then my color will go right to that edge of that card and I just put this in just to see, just to visualize where that is. Now it's one of two lines that we need. 
That's the actual cut line, or approximately anyway. The cuts aren't guaranteed to be perfectly accurate. So for that, you need to have a secondary line in here, which is about the same distance in, once again. And that's where you want to have all of your important information inside to guarantee that you're inside anywhere where it may be cut. So let's set up those guidelines now. Okay, here's our basic page. And this is just a little bit larger than three and a half by two inches. So I want to have two lines over here, two lines up here, two lines here, and two lines at the bottom. Go up to the View menu, come down to New Guide, we'll do our left side first. There's going to be a vertical guideline in here. And the first one is at 1.5, and then just type in MM for millimeters. Choose OK. There's our first guideline. The second one is the same amount of space inside from that. So that's View, New Guide, and again, it's the vertical guide, and this time it's going to be at 3 mm for 3 millimeters. There it is. Okay, let's do our top guides now. View, new guide. It's a horizontal guide, and the same numbers as we just did over there. So it's 1.5 and mm for the first one. There you go. Second guide, view, new guides, and this one is at 3, and once again, mm, and choose OK. There's our, our left and our top sides. Let's now do the right side. View, new guide. It's a vertical guide again. Now this is going to be subtracting 1.5 millimeters and 3 millimeters from our width, which is 92. So the first number here is going to be 90.5. Again, that's mm, choose OK, there it is. And the second one, view, new guide, vertical guide, and this one's going to be at 89 mm, and choose OK. OK, back up to view, come down to new guide. It's a horizontal guide, and the number is 52.5 and mm for millimeters. Choose OK. There's a first one, and then view, new guide. This time it's going to be 51 mm, and choose OK. And there we go. There's the guides. Now when you put your artwork in here, there are two things to pay attention to. The first one is this outside line. That's about where it's going to be cut. Not exact, but about where it's going to be cut. So if you're doing a color bleed, you want the bleed to go past that out in this outer area. Now this inside one, this is where it's not going to be cut. At this point, you're guaranteed that it won't be doing any cutting, most likely right on that middle line, but it may be off by just a little bit. So you want to have any important information like any text, anything like that, your logo, inside of this second line and then you're just fine. So there's your basic layout for your card. And that's actually the most important part of this whole thing is this basic layout with these guidelines. Okay, so back here again, I don't have my inside lines showing in here, but I have my cut line showing right there. And that gray area up here is just a visual reference to see what it looks like when it's cut. When you take this out and upload it, if you're doing this gray thing I did, just make sure that that's not on there so you have your clean card. Now notice that, I'll bring this back in again and double that space. That's right about where his hand touches right here. So his hand is right at that inner safe area. Everything else is inside that safe area. You want to make sure that it looks good at this size. Go here to the zoom tool. I'm at 100% zoom right now. Everything looks fine. Now the image looks really nice. Make sure that your image is a high enough resolution that it looks good at this size on your screen and it's going to look good on your card. All the texture is just regular text. Again, different ways of laying this out. I just kind of centered them in the open area in here and stayed away from those outer edges. Okay, so there's the basics on how to do the layout for your card. Let's now see about uploading this to that online service. When you save this out, most services nowadays, online services, Vistaprint included, can use your Photoshop Elements file, your PSD file. That's just fine. Okay, switch back to Vistaprint and see how it goes from this point. Okay, here's Vistaprint again, and let's go back and click on Upload It. Choose your design layout. We'll be choosing the standard business card right over here. Choose Next, and it then takes us into their Upload section. Here we go. And in here, you can upload from your computer, phone, previous uploads. If you've already done that, I've done that right down there. You can see that there's my recent image, Image Library, or Facebook. I'm just going to delete this image down here and do this from scratch. There we go. Now you can do a front side and a back side. I'll be leaving the back side alone. Let's get that out of the way. There we are. So we'll be doing this from my computer right there. Click on that. This will then bring up a drive window where you can navigate to where your image is located. And mine is already in the right folder. This is my graphics folder. And in here, I'm using this one here. This is the business card edited one. That's my working file. So I'll click on that one again. It's a PSD standard Photoshop format file. Choose open. And there we go. 
Now the thing to take a look at on this one to make sure, first of course, is that everything looks proper. If you have a color bleed, make sure that this goes clear to the outside edge of what they're showing in here in mind. Does the color goes clear out that edge? And then check this line here. This is the inner line, the inner guideline. Make sure that all of your content that's important is inside of that inner guideline. The hand right here is just touching that and that's right where I want it. So everything is just fine on that. Click on preview. It'll bring this up in a new window with kind of a, a fake hand. So that's kind of what it would look like in somebody's hand. And that looks just fine. Okay, so that's all good. Click on next. You can then choose whether or not to do backside printing. We'll leave that alone. That's just blank. Click on next again. And here's the front and there's the back. And if you're happy with this, just click here that you've reviewed and approved the designs. Click on next, go ahead, put in your purchase information and you're all set to go. So there you go. That is how you do a layout like that to create a business card. There's your template. The important thing are these guidelines. Again, just make sure all of your important information is inside the inner guideline. And if you're doing any color bleed that goes outside past that outer section, just like I have out over here. Now, if you're interested in me doing any actual designs for business cards for different business, different jobs like real estate or whatever, just leave that in the comments and I'll do some videos on that if that seems to be of interest to people. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.